Oh, this is your brother Farouk Hunter, chairman of the Freedom Nation. And I want to introduce a novel idea, something that should have happened a long time ago, but we definitely have to do now. Let's build our own school system. I mean, a whole system. Accreditation, let's build all the parts, not just what you learn, but how people are managed, how the facilities are run, the tools that are used. Let's build an entire school system. And here's the thing, we already set up the start. Freedom Nation, we're here to solve really big problems. That's what we're here to do. We're here to put elements into our community that pull us away from a traditional space of usury or that leads us towards things that don't really define ourselves. So in Freedom Nation, we always kick off something and then start building it from the core. And we've already started on the system that will be the system that we build as an international standard for how to train our children for the future. I'd like to share the presentation with you, and that is here in what we call TAMES. Now, TAMES stands for the American Muslim Education System. TAMES, in my opinion, must exist. We are at a point where this self-consumed lifestyle of westernization has taken over inside of our schools and now is a culture that's integrated into the American education system. Having the integration of a moral base, a system that actually encourages you to look out for other people, to do things that give charity and open up pathways in your life, through your career, for the rest of your community. Those principles that are found in the Islamic faith, integrated with the American school system, is a must. Our agenda inside of this presentation is simple. I'm gonna tell you what TAMES is. Then after that, I'm gonna explain a concept called Open TAMES. That's where everybody can and get involved in the process of building out this school system. I'm going to talk to you about official Thames and Thames LLC, which is the actual company that leads and pushes Thames forward. So big question, what is Thames? Now we know the acronym stands for the American Muslim Education System, but what does that mean? Does that mean just a bunch of Muslims from some foreign place? Absolutely not. What it means is this. In short, TAMES is an integrated Islamic and modern American educational system born out of the integrated educational systems of the various American indigenous Muslims. I'm going to refer to them from this point forward as AIM. Those are the movements in the United States that were born in the 1920s, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s that encompassed people like Malcolm X, and other people who were trying to look for a alternate lifestyle outside of things that they were forced into and chose Islam as their path, but at the same time wanted to create success with their kids in a Western society, but then develop an educational system that could integrate the two into one. Out of the 90 or so years that we have been educating our own children, we have produced some amazing educators. There are people out there like Majid Abdul Karim, Dr. Jawair Abdul Shahid, and Dr. Muhammad Khalifa, who've literally been around the world in senior positions, educating people, building education systems, and helping schools to accredit themselves and ensure that they can deliver quality education to their kids throughout the globe. Most people don't know that the origins of a lot of these amazing educators is simple schools that were started by a set of indigenous American Muslims that only wanted to ensure morality and a sense of godliness alongside a stellar education to build amazing people. Not just educators have come from this system. We also have some excellent Americans. People like Masood Abdul Haq, who's a renowned author, and Dr. Noor Jihan, several doctors that have come out of this system of American Muslim education. 
Also, Amir Suleiman, who's a Grammy Award poet, actor, writer, and Sharif Abdurrahim, who is an amazing basketball player, Olympian, and overall just star and investor in his community. The system that we design, the system that our parents designed, has rewarded both the American society and our community. Now, Thames is four solid things. The first one is it's American indigenous Muslim culture. Why? It's because it's the glue. When you talk about the Islamic education and an American international educational standard, those things don't necessarily go together well. But the culture of American indigenous Muslims has always been one of integrating these concepts. Our forefathers that helped develop this system help develop the standards, help develop the little small schools or the schools in the mosque or the Sister Clara Muhammad School or Madrasa the Shahideen. They were all very much American. They were still hip guys that were all involved inside American society, all while educating their, their, their kids to be amazing Muslims and amazing Americans at the same time. That glue, that work that's been done over 90 plus years is what's necessary to bring these two systems together. Thames then also is an American international educational standard. Highest educational standards available in US-based systems or American systems on an international level. It's a moderate Islamic education. Now, why am I using the term moderate? Because Islam comes in different flavors. And the flavor of Islam that Thames focus on is the one that encourages Muslims to participate in society, and be people of value for society at large. Islam becomes a guiding function for their morality, for their dealings with people, for their need to do things in a good and wholesome way. But Thames is not just a set of curriculums. It's not just a set of lesson plans. It's a holistical educational management system. Holistic, I don't think the word holistical is there. But holistic education management system Holistic education management system means that it doesn't just stop at the education. It goes into how leadership is developed, <clears throat> how planning is done, how goals are created, how the facilities are managed, the qualifications of the educators and the teachers, the tools that are used by the children. It is a holistic system that we're educating. That's why I said system and not just a school. We have plenty of schools. We need a system. There's an urgency around this though. The individuals who were some of the youngest people that came out of this space are 45 plus years old now. That means that the original owners of the knowledge of how these educational systems work within 20 to 40 years from now will be completely extinct if we don't put it into a strong system that can then be spread across the world and then create it as an accreditation system for multiple schools to follow. So the question then becomes, why Thames? Why is it necessary? Well, in the modern age, the idea of an Islamic education has been set directly opposed to an American education. We see American education as promoting American constructs, American methodologies, Ideas that we don't necessarily gel with Islam. At the same time, madrasas are seen to promote a methodology that's either antiquated or that separates people from society at large. There are tons of people around the world that are making a decision as to whether or not they should give their child a Muslim or an Islamic education or a Western education. This doesn't exist in the Christian space. Why? Because they have built wonderful systems, you can look them up, like the ICAA, those systems accredit Christian schools to ensure that they can integrate Christian methodologies with the Western education. The work that hasn't been done is to integrate these two things together when it comes to Islamic education. Thames needs to exist so that people don't have to make a choice. They can have the best of both worlds, prepare their kids for the future, have them involved inside the overall modern society that has become very westernized, 
and still have a strong Islamic moral base and produce great and excellent Muslims. AIM Muslims, that is American indigenous Muslims, have struck a beautiful balance between what it means to be an American and to be a Muslim. They're a non-compromising set of individuals. They stand up for what's right. They push in spaces where inequality exists and they have the courage to stand with or against individuals that are either helping or destroying society at large. And we do it at every level of society. The system that has come out of that has to be captured. So the question is the goal of Thames. Thames then has this aim to provide a balanced world-class Islamic and American education system in order to produce stellar global citizens that can compete in a modern world while retaining a traditional Islamic life without compromise. That's important. It doesn't exist. It's something that literally doesn't exist as a system that can be taken on by other people. So in this goal, we have to have a set of objectives. These objectives define teams, what it is and what we focus and why we're here to do. The first one is to create an AIM Educators Knowledge Repository. We got to put the work together. We got to organize it, put it in a big space. There is no repository right now of all of this wonderful work that has been done over 90 years or any of the work that's being done day to day to day with inside of our schools. Second, we need to provide a free resource for Muslim educators seeking an American system. It needs to be free. Thames needs to be accessible by the common person who is just simply trying to raise a good child. When they go to homeschool or send their kids out, they should be able to tap into this resource and share the collective knowledge that has been developed over these many years. Objective C is to be the lead global accreditation body for integrated Islamic and American education. This doesn't exist. There are different things that exist, but the integrated Islamic and American education at the level, at the quality, at the, the, the smoothness of integration that has come out of the indigenous Muslim community does not exist in a body or a book that I can simply pick up in a standard and then I can be accredited under. We have to push to make that real. And the last objective is to facilitate a market for AIM educators. This is big. See, a lot of times we are undervalued because our unique skills and unique abilities aren't seen as valuable. Thames changes that. Thames makes an AIM educators literally the top authorities, the SMEs, the subject matter experts inside the area of Thames. The ability to collaborate, to consult, to train, to monitor any kind of educational institutions that are taking on Thames as a standard will be a new market open for AIM educators and drive new revenue into their space in order to encourage people to come into this educational space because it is something that can be lucrative for them. Now, open Thames is the first step in developing Thames. What is Open Thames? Open Thames is an open source repository of knowledge from AIM educational professionals and contributors. Open Thames utilizes curriculum from other open source repositories, but then we take it and our contributors work with that in order to rapidly build a repository that is uniquely catered to an integrated American and Islamic educational system. There are seven key areas of open Thames. First, as you might expect, is educational standards. American and Islamic educational standards, curriculum and lesson plans. Second is organizational best practices. That's organizational best practices, standards, processes, procedures, and methods. The third is educator proficiencies, the people who actually deliver to the children themselves. Best practices, standards for educators all the way around. Cultural proficiencies is another four 
of the key seven elements with inside open teams. Best practices for organizational culture, leadership, culture, and student culture. Just the entire embodiment from the student to the leadership of the culture that nurtures teams and that ensures a success. Five, technical delivery standards. Best practices and standards for delivering teams utilizing the most modern means and tools. Six is facilities management proficiencies. And that might sound weird, but this is for online and offline facilities. Meaning that the actual delivery mechanisms that are online or the spaces where we actually teach teams standards and best practices for how to nurture teams inside of those spaces. And last but not least is leadership proficiencies. Best practices and standards for leaders of educational organizations utilizing teams. And this is a complete system, seven keys that make up open teams. What's really important to say is open teams already exist. It's online in a GitLab repository. We use GitLab because it's amazing for version control, for adding documents, and also giving proper credit to each contributor so that we know that every contributor who put their work in can actually receive credit for it. It's available at gitlab.com slash Tames official slash open Tames. And you can start using it today. Tames and open Tames is available through an attribution share alike 4.0 international license. I know that sounds like a lot, but what's important is real simple. If you use the material, just attribute the person that it came from. So if you have one of these amazing educators, and I need to say this, in the presentation, we have pictures of several different educators that are all from AIM backgrounds. They aren't necessarily associated with Thames, but we want to use this presentation to highlight them, to show how many amazing talents we have. Anything that's contributed from these individuals should be able to be used if you're a homeschooler, if you're a small school, or even a professional institution. And every time you use it, you should give credit back to the person who originated. It also has a share alike component in it. What does that mean? That means that if it was put in open teams as open source, you can also share it with other people. We want our people utilizing teams to promote it. We want the resources to flow throughout our communities, both national and international. Last but not least, the license requires that if you monetize Thames, that you give credit back to its originators and in some cases compensate them if necessary. Open Thames is also available in our Discord channel, which you can join by joining the Open Thames server on Discord. It's a wonderful place where virtually we can communicate across all the seven key elements of Thames and start to build a space where teachers, educators of all classes and types that have Muslim children anywhere in the world can join in and have conversations at no charge with other educators, share information on how to utilize Thames and the standards in order to produce stellar and amazing children. Now, that leads us to this idea of Thames Official. If the information is open, the only problem with open standards is that sometimes everything doesn't fit together just perfectly. There are gaps in the information that need to be filled by a dedicated staff of individuals. Thames Official is an official version of Open Thames, where it has been vetted and all of the standards, curriculum, best practices, lesson plans, everything have been put into a congruent system that can be adapted by the most professional educational institutions in the world. The idea is that with Open Thames contributions, it'll take about two to three years before we're able to build a Thames official version. And then after that, it will be incrementally changed and a major release will come out every five to 10 years. Last but not least, everything 
everything. As the saying goes, if you don't put somebody over it in charge of it, if they're not there to manage it, then it will fail. Thames LLC is the organization that's been set in place in order to manage Open Thames and Thames Official and the overall standard implementation. They have six key duties. The board at Thames LLC is made up of professional AIM educators that A, solicit contributors for Open Thames. They're responsible for developing a community of AIM educators to contribute to Open Thames. Two, they facilitate contributions. So they engage the AIM education community to increase the contributions to Open Thames. That can be through events, both online and offline. That can be direct engagement, maybe engaging institutions that will give a swell of information into Open Thames. It is the responsibility of this board to do that. They also consolidate Open Thames to Thames Official. Like I said, that job has to go to somebody. And this skilled group of people persistently review Thames contributions and form in them into a cohesive standard called Thames Official. Fifth, they execute Thames assessments and certifications. They are the body that goes out and will assess the universities, the schools, the K through 12. And by the way, we're starting just K through 12 and pre-K. And they will assess those bodies to ensure that they are implementing all of the seven key portions of Thames and that they are a school that can stand strong on the fact that they have both a Western and integrated Islamic educational system born of the AIM educators. Last but not least, they're responsible for elevating the standing of Thames. And this is important. This is really important. They are there to establish Thames LLC as a member in the U.S. and internationally with regional and national accreditation bodies under CHEA or the U.S. Department of Education, which are the two bodies in the United States that actually certify or authorize regional and national accreditation bodies to pull other accreditation bodies in so that they can accredit other schools both nationally, regionally, and internationally. Very, very important part, and Thames LLC plays a very big role in making this a reality. And that's it. I think that's enough. Teamwork makes a dream work, and that's just a simple statement, and it's always been true. I ask you to jump in, get involved, and join Open Thames as soon as possible. Just got to email join at opentames.com. Really straightforward. I really, really believe that we can build our own school system. We really can. It's time. We need to do it. If we don't, the knowledge dies out. I personally have 10 children. I it means I have a lot of grandkids on the way, I hope. And I really would like for them to be educated as great Muslims, great Americans, well-educated people, professionals, and people who can change the world through a moral base. But that only happens if we build our own school system. Hopefully I'll see you soon. This is your brother, Chairman Hunter of Freedom Nation.